scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Welcome to an all new Trenny and C episode. Uh, he's Trenny, I'm C, and today we have a fun one. It is called What's the Best Wheated, Wheated Bourbon? bourbon. Um, so this is a, one of our blind tastings. So what I've done, I will do the reveal here. Da, 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 da. We've got three weeded bourbons. Um, I don't know if this is really what's the best weeded bourbon, but I, I couldn't think of a sure. better title. It's a pretty um, good title. It's a decent title. But what it really is, is we have three weeded bourbons, meaning that wheat is um, one of the secondary grains after, of course, corn. Mm -hmm. Corn is the number one grain in a bourbon. That's what makes um, it a bourbon. That's right. Yeah. So, but there is wheat in these recipes, in these mash bills. So, in each of these three. And these three are all, at least around here, mm -hmm. very similarly priced. Yes. So, for example, Weller has several variations that range from around here, 40 bucks, to... Yeah. Hundreds of dollars, yes. but this is the introductory level Weller, and then uh, the introductory level Maker's Mark, and then Larceny. So, yes. we've got these three. If you corris correspond, correspond the color of dot on the bottle to the color of dot on the glass, you will know in which glass which bourbon is contained. That which was seen I, more... Which I have not seen. Which you have no idea. This is... The audience gets to see this. Yeah. I just... You'll know the it. dots on the glass, and then what you're going to do is you're not trying to pick out which is which. You're trying to say in order which one you think is the best yes. to the worst. Okay. Um, and just look at the way that these two bottles line up perfectly. Like, that's that one actually cool. just, yeah, like, yeah. fits right in the... Okay, that's weird. Nice. Whatever. Um, all right. So, you're going to do a nosing round. You're going to am. smell them, I am. and then you're going to taste them, and you're going to rank them, and you're going to tell us which one is the best weeded bourbon. I love these. these this is a fun thing to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. This is always fun. <clears throat> Could you go grab me my water bottle? Oh, sure. sure. Okay, so I'm going to just start with, I guess, your left. I'm going to start with a clear glass here. Oh, and sure. this is the red dot. Why am I not drinking anything? Carry on. I'm going to get myself something. Okay, this is nice and light. There's almost kind of some uh, green apple characteristics to this bourbon, which you don't get very often with bourbons. I love the nose. It's really light, really nice, sweet. You're on the red I dot. I am the red dot. Red dot. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm going to move on. I'm going to do a speed round here. I poured myself some four roses. Oh, thanks. Um, okay, so this is the blue dot. Okay, this is a little bit um, more nutty. Okay. A little bit more, I want to say kind of like subdued and creamy. Okay. Those are good notes. Better than the usual mm -kay. Mm -kay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Moving on to the green dot here. Okay. Green dot. Green dot. Oh, this is also kind of in the same realm as this uh, blue dot. From what perspective? In that it's kind of creamy. Okay. It's not, like, this one's really bright and really, like, has some apple characteristics to it, fruity okay. characteristics. Yes. Even a little bit. Apple's typically reserved for like a scotch. Like a scotch. But it mm. also, maybe even slightly, slightly cherry. Mm. Going back to the blue. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, indeed. This smells a little spicier okay. than, than the red. A little bit of spice. And on then it. now green one more time. I'm having a harder time pulling notes from this green mm. one. A real brain buster. <laughs> exactly. Okay, do you know what? I'm going to go... That was my nosing round, round one. I am going to... Have you put them in order of best nose? Not really yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to just sip on this red one now. 
Sipping red. I, I think so far the nose on the red is my favorite. Okay. Yeah. There's um, a little bit of that kind of cherry characteristic there. Um, again, bright. Re mm. Like almost kind of refreshing and a little okay. bit uh, like like a citrus peel to it or oh, something. okay. Okay, I'm not going to rinse my mouth out. I'm going to go straight to blue. This is the unrinsed round. Hmm. That one, it just, this one. Blue? Cut blue. Blue dog. Like the nose. Okay. It, yes, it's creamy. But, it, and walnutty and like nutty. Okay. But personally, I think I'm liking this guy a little bit okay. better. So. Now it will be, again, no rinse out, but between these two, that might be the hard one here. Oh. So I wasn't getting as much of a nose out of this one. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Mm, okay. I, this one has a little bit more heat, a little bit more spice to it. Mm. Um, a little bit more... Just kind of something going on. It's not as walnutty necessarily or anything like that. They they're three different. You know what's interesting what's is they're that? all very similar percentages. Oh, okay. 45, but, 45, and 46. Yeah. So very good comparison. Yeah. And so I, one's tasting a little hotter, is what you're saying. Yeah, but I'm kind of liking the heat a little bit oh. more than the walnutiness. Okay. So I think I'm gonna Put it in this order now. Interesting. Um, and now I'm gonna do a rinse out round. Oh, good, good plan. We wouldn't want anyone to question your results <laughs> or your thoughts. Yes, I know. Because everyone else is right. You know, when you put yourself out on social media, YouTube included, uh, you open yourself to other people's opinions. <laughs> yes, and harsh criticism. And what we have to do though is we have to try and blank that out and just maintain our own opinions, For your sure. own thoughts. Of course. And I think sometimes, though, some of these are productive criticisms. Oh, for know? sure. For sure. So, we've, we've learned from things that people have, have said. Yeah. Okay. There we go. I'm going to sip on the red. Going back to red. Round two of red tasting. Okay. I know already that I like this one the best. Okay. In flavor... I'm gonna rinse my mouth out sure. just to make it completely sure. fair. Make sure. Okay. Number two is now green. It moved oh. up a step. The nose isn't doing as much for me, but as soon as I get to the flavor here. It's a little spicy, but it's also a little gritty. It has some oak, definitely some oak there okay. right away. Um, is the gritty a good thing? I think so, because it's almost, it gives texture to like it. Like almost an unfiltered kind of thing. Yeah, filter. exactly, okay. and almost like a, a viscosity standpoint. It's a little bit gotcha. chalky and A little more interesting. And a little bit more like, it's like, you know, when you bite into cheese and some are squeaky cheese and some aren't. <laughs> this is like the squeaky cheese. <laughs> Something, I don't know. Oh, great. Okay, here great we go. Great analogy. Thank you. It's nothing like comparing cheese to bourbon. Two very similar yeah. flavor both. <laughs> so similar. Nobody, you always see uh, cheese and bourbon pairings. There you go. Right? Okay. And uh, now the blue. We should do a cheese and bourbon pairing. Love cheese. Mm -hmm. This is nice too. It's quite sweet, quite brown sugars on there. A little bit molasses like. Okay. Um, a little bit nutty. Um, but I still think it's going to come third place for me. So I think this is my final answer. I'm going with red. red, green, and blue. Any predictions? I I could be so wrong, and it's happened way too many times for me to like want to Do you pretend want to right. But I feel like this is the Weller. Okay. I feel like this is the Maker's Mark, and okay. I feel like this is the Larceny. Well, let's start at the back end. Sure. Uh, you chose blue at the in last place. The people already know, but you don't. Blue is the maker's mark. Oh, interesting. So, so far, you're really? wrong. <laughs> That's so weird. Love it. 
Okay. I love it. I love it when we can still be surprised. Yeah. Green mm -hmm. is the larceny, okay. meaning Weller was your favorite. So you actually chose Weller, Larceny, and then Maker's Mark. That's and I was very convinced that this this one here was the Maker's Mark. Interesting. This one seems nuttier than this one, but let's try it again. And are they all nice and mild wheaters? Like, did you feel that the whole way through? They were all pretty similar that way, or no? Um, like, would you have been able to peg them as wheaters? <coughs> Not necessarily. I mean, there's still a lot of flavor going on yeah. in these. Um, I think the Weller, I just really like the, the kind of cherry blast thing that it has. Right. Sure. Um, larceny, I'm surprised by. Because I, I remember feeling like Larceny was kind of flat bit of a disappointment yeah, previously yeah so, so this is good to change your mind uh puts things on a whole new level and now that i'm tasting maker's mark some of those uh bitter characteristics are definitely there but huh. anyway okay well cool. my turn yeah okay cut okay we are back we are going for round two it is C's turn this time. Mm -hmm. I will reveal what he does not know, mm -hmm. but you guys will. Okay, okay, I'll start over here on the clear glass. We Did we mention that we have our Trenny and C uh, blind tasting glasses out here today? Very cool. And then one normal glass, which won't tell you much because you have nothing to compare it against. So. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm starting with a, with a yellow dot. Yellow dot. This one is has a sweetness to it, a little bit of spice, nice vanilla notes to it, a bit of a fruity characteristic. It's nice. It's a nice nose. It's a bit, yeah, it has like a zestiness to it a little bit and a bit of a spice too. Okay. But overall, very pleasant. Pleasant, yeah. Uh, blue dot. Okay, the blue dot uh, has a sweetness and a, a brown sugar, maybe slightly, this one might be slightly nutty, kind of light, good, that's blue. All in all, good, blue. And now one. the thing is, I know you said nutty as well, but I can't even remember which one you said it on. Okay, this one is kind of the uh, green, kind of the weakest nose of them. Mm -hmm. um, it's sweet and vanilla, brown sugar, soft, kind of light, um, not overwhelming, but also pleasant. Yeah. I'm going to have a sip of water to and get nose. started. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the, uh, neutralize the nose here. Yeah. Not that I'm nosing anymore anyway, but I'm going to start where I finished. Sure. I'm going to start sipping on green. Here we go. Okay. Okay, the flavor of green kind of matches the smell of the, uh, <laughs> of the blue. Oh, really? <laughs> it it kind of tastes like it's a little bit nutty to me. Interesting. Um... Gosh, now I'm smelling like almost like a peanut butter kind of thing going on. Mm. Green. Mm. We don't get that note very often in a no. while well, in whiskey. <laughs> but it has like a bit of a, yeah, like a creaminess and a vanilla -y sweetness to it. Maybe even a slight bit kind of nutty to it. Mm. Maybe even a little bit of like. When I say peanut butter, I'm not talking about like the really strong boldness no. of peanut butter, just like a hint, but it's kind of there. Well, I mean, it's I wasn't good. really talking about like squeaky cheese either. <laughs> yeah. Nothing puns in. Everything's very like metaphorical <laughs> and like the whiskey world. Yeah. Overall, a nice start. Yeah. Okay, blue. Nosing it again. This is stronger on the nutty side for sure. Tasting blue, stronger kind of almond, almond extract, 
Mm. Even a bit walnutty, kind of like reminiscent of a Jim Beam flavor. Right. Mm. But sweet and tasty. Yeah, good. Getting back into the water right away. Okay, onto the yellow, which is where I started nosing first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one is more on the fruity side to me. Okay, a bit of a more mild flavor profile. Mm -hmm. um, like these ones seem on first taste to be bolder than this one. Right. This one seems to be subdued. And I don't know if I like that. There's nothing wrong with it. No, I mean, they're all good whiskey. Kind of a bit of that... Yeah, it's this one's fruitier. This one's nuttier. And this one's kind of like... A softer... A softer version. Hmm. I don't know. That's round one of tasting. Softcore corn. <laughs> Something like a softcore corn. <laughs> yeah. Not like that hardcore corn. No, no, no. That could be a bit much. Okay, um... Now I'm going to start in the middle, because I'm just going to... Oh, sure. Just okay, it's going to be final right, answers. Screw everything around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already a bit confused. Mm. Blue? A little bit of kind of that alcohol to it. Yeah. And a little bit more um, unfinished. Mm. Ru it's a bit of a ruffian okay. versus the other two. Mm. I'm going to start with it in last place. Ah, okay. Sip. So you I asked me, are these obvious wheaters to you? I could... I could easily mistake this for Jim Beam if someone gave it to me. Right. Like, I don't know which version of Jim Beam because it's got a lot more... F like, it's a little bit bolder than a regular Jim Beam. Yeah. But, like, I could see myself thinking this is, like, the signature Craft 12 or something. Yeah. You know? Okay, this one I said was kind of a bit of softer and milder. But the nose is kind of coming to me a bit. I said this one had a little bit of a peanut butter thing going on. And, uh... I'm kind of really digging it. Hmm. I'm feeling good about this one. Without tasting this one, I'm going to move this one in first for right now. Sure. Have a sip. Yeah, let's do this thing. And give you my final answers after I taste this. Yes, of course. Again, this one has a nice nose, but it's a bit... Um, a little bit more tart. Hmm. Yeah, and I, I shall maintain the thought that it's the fruitiest of the bunch. Okay. And I'm kind of just happy to leave it right there. Okay, well, do you have... So this being first mm -hmm. to worst. First, second, third. Okay, so do you have a prediction? The only thing that I know for sure... Well, I don't know anything for sure. I think this is larceny. Okay. But other than that, I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's start with... Uh, this is the end of the line for you. That's worst. Blue is... Where are we? <laughs> you are absolutely right. Okay. Larceny okay. was your... Not your pick of the litter. And you, what was your last place? Maker's Mark? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, predictions? No. No. Okay. So, this one here is yellow. And that would be... Weller okay. is second place for you, which obviously leaves Maker's Mark in first place. So your worst was my first. <laughs> that happens a lot, doesn't it? Yeah. And your first was my second. Yes. And your second was my I, third. I think, so I think we, that uh, if you average it out, I think that, that makes Weller well the best yeah. one. <laughs> well, I think the other thing is you did hit the nail on the head with a lot of the tasting notes of these. You know, um, 
the thing that I liked about this is that it was a little bit lighter and mm-hmm. fruitier and some of those characteristics you don't find in a bourbon as often, right, right, you know? Right. So I kind of thought that was it was unique out of the three. Yeah. Which is funny because Maker's Mark, I've always thought, was a little bit more chalky and gritty and it turned out it was... <laughs> well, this one just reminds me too much of Jim Beam. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if I'm going to pay double Jim Beam's price... Yeah. I don't want his Jim Beam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, and these two is a kind of a toss up. Like they're both to me, they were both really good, and I was just kind of like going with what I felt at the at yeah, the time. I mean, it could change tomorrow. I'm, I'm happy to drink. I'm really happy to drink all of them. Yes. But I think to me, these two are like this is like the, the lead pack. Yeah. And this one's it's kind of trailing behind. Right. To me, that's my thing. But. <laughs> Well, in that case, I'm going to have some of this Weller. Please. And you may as well have some of the Maker's Mark. And you can watch another video of Trendy and C. Just go and go into the videos or click on most popular. Into library or Um, my channel or watch a playlist even. And you know, now you're really confused about what the best weeded bourbon is. (laughs) We've really helped. Glad we could help you with that. Um, But we had fun. Mm -hmm. We always do. Yeah. We're drinking whiskey. Uh, hopefully you had fun watching this. I and... forgot to tell you what I'm drinking in this glass. Oh, well, this well, is well. the Glenfiddich Double X. Oh, we're provided X X provided by Christine Lowe's. Thank yeah. you again, Christine. Um, well, this was fun. So we'll see you next time. Uh, subscribe, click like, leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you next Thursday. Granny and C, drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish, scotch, bourbon, and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.